first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this lesson number one on the topic trigonometry so now we are going to see a very small overview about this topic trigonometry right so first trigonometry when you heard this topic trigonometry students who ate mathematics will definitely hate this topic trigonometry why because my friends who won't learn this topic i have seen many students many students will not touch this topic trigonometry why because it has a vast syllabus right first thing and second importantly we have to learn many properties many angle values many formulas so lots of stuffs are there in the topic trigonometry so i have seen many students will not touch the trigonometry topic for the competitive exams but if you are preparing for some competitive exams you have to learn trigonometry and if you are preparing for any top level it sector uh, companies so for the first round definitely you can able to see two or three question on advanced mathematics or elementary mathematics in those areas at least three question will be asked on the topic trigonometry so you have to learn no other way but i will teach you right how to learn trigonometry in a easy way in schoolings we have learned from 6 standard to 10 standard four years or three years i have learned trigonometry everyone in the schooling times you may see we learn properties we learn identities we learn uh, some uh, important formulas on trigonometry and then angle values more stuff are there but when you look when you look at the trigonometry syllabus it is very huge actually but when you split into small small models then learning trigonometry will be very very easiest topic so that's the thing i'm going to do here so here just a overview about the topic trigonometry so from the next lesson i will be teaching you model number one so in model number one what you have to learn and after learning that how the question will be asked basis upon the formula based on this formulas right and model number two for model number two what you have to learn so after learning it what type of question can be solved by using model number two so if you split that huge topic trigonometry into a small small categories like small small models solving and the learning trigonometry in the competitive exams will be very very easy right so first and foremost if you are going for uh, first look at the syllabus of the competitive exams what you are going for or a campus interview so first and for first thing is uh, if you are preparing for SSE, staff selection commission railway exams you are state level competitive exams for example if you are from rajasthan or delhi if you are preparing for a uh, delhi police uh, exams or if you are from gujarat gujarat exams or if you are from uh, andhra pradesh andhra pradesh they, they will be state level exams right so in all those state level competitive exams you may see the topic trigonometry and uh, if you are preparing for a bank exams you may not see the concepts of trigonometry there so first look into the syllabus of your exam what you are preparing for and inside the syllabus if you have a trigonometry definitely learn the trigonometry and try to watch all my videos you can surely crack out of four or five question you can surely crack three to four in your exams right no doubt about it i will teach you into small small models and i will teach you what you have to learn because in schoolings we we have learned properties identities lhs is equal to rhs all those stuff but when you come to the competitive exams you don't want to prove that right only learning a certain part is enough to solve the questions on trigonometry so that's the thing i'm going to teach here in this video trigonometry session right so so friends that's it right uh, in the upcoming videos right just a small overview so because students will confuse by seeing a if i start like from model number one student might confuse where from from where i need to start or how to learn trigonometry so that's the small uh, reason i have posted this video right so uh, make sure that this trigonometry is comes under elementary mathematics or advanced mathematics session so first if you are preparing for any competitive exams look into the syllabus if you have a syllabus of trigonometry then try to watch all my remaining videos from here right and uh, trigonometry don't think that it is a tough topic it is a vast topic no not at all if you split that huge vast topic into small small models if you learn that all the formulas right you can't able to learn all the formulas at a time if you split the formulas into a small small categories then solving and learning the formula i'm sorry solving and learning the formulas will be very easy and there are small technique also there are small shortcut also to learn the formulas easily so i will teach you all the things 
for the trigonometry and definitely make you the trigonometry topic easy so don't worry about it and many students are keep on asking me to teach trigonometry measurements etc so i will be uh, teaching all those stuff as soon as possible so uh, thank you so much for watching this video it's just a small overview so from the next video we will be solving the questions on the topic trigonometry so once thank you so much for watching this video bye